Hi everyone, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and in today's video I will discuss about object oriented programming concepts. Okay, so object oriented programming has many concepts and those concepts are class, objects, abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, dynamic binding and message communication. And each and every of this concept is very important and we will discuss each and every of this concept in this complete series of C++ tutorial but in this video we will discuss only about class concept ok now we have already know that object oriented programming is a technique where we write the programs using the concept of classes and objects ok first we declare the class and inside that class we used to declare the data members and member functions and, and once we complete the declaration of the class then we go for creating the object so that with the help of that object we can get access to the data members and member functions okay so that is the concept of classes and object in object oriented programming we consider class as a template because inside the declaration of the class we used to declare all our data and member functions and with the help of the object we used to access those data members and member functions so now let us start our discussion with the first point okay class is a template where data members and member functions are defined okay so here as you can see class is been termed as a template where data members and member functions are defined a class is been considered as a place where we declare all our variables and member functions and these variables we are referring them with data members okay so the variables which holds the data at the time of execution we declare these variables inside the class declaration okay and we also specify what are those functions which we are going to use in our entire program so that a complete list of all the data members and what are the operations we are going to perform in the program that thing we have to specify inside the class it's a collection of objects having common features when a class is created then immediately after that we have to create an object and we can create either one object of that class or we can create more than one object of that same class how much ever objects we will be creating each and every object will have the access to each and every function of this class it's a collection of objects having common features okay so we can create either one object or we can create collection of objects in the same class but each and every object will have access to this common data members and member functions next point a class is a user defined data type which contains data members as well as member function that manipulate the data so here class is been termed as a user defined data type which contains the data members and these data members will be manipulated by these member functions okay so here in this example you can see i have i have defined only the name of the function but i have not implemented the code for this function okay so when i will be implementing the code for these functions in that function i will be accessing these data members next point a class can have any number of objects as i have told you a class can have either one object of that class or it can have more than one objects of the same class next point a class simply specified which data and what functions will be included in objects of that class the purpose of having class is to describe what are the data which i am going to use and what functions i am going to perform in my program that complete list has to be provided to the compiler in the form of a class okay so here you can see i have created a class with a name as student and inside that i have a private access specifier and public access specifier inside the private access specifier i have defined all my data members these are my variables okay and we used to call them as data members and inside the public access specifier i have declared all my functions okay with these functions 
I'm going to access these data members. Okay, so these functions are termed as member functions. So this list a complete detail of data members and member functions we have to provide inside the class okay so now this class is been considered as a template where i'm explaining what type of data and how many functions i'm going to use in this program and once i declare the class then i will create a main function and inside the main function i will create an object of the class as you can see this is the name of the class student okay and here I have created an object stu and with the help of this object I am calling the function add student and I am calling the function edit student so here you can see there are data members as role number age name gender but I am not referring these data members with the help of this object but I am only accessing this member functions the duty of these member functions is to access this data members okay so I am indirectly my object is indirectly accessing these data members with the help of this member function so uh, what we understood with the class class is been considered as a template where we used to provide the complete detail of our program what type of data I am going to use in my program and uh, what type and how many functions I am going to use in my program so all these details we have to provide inside the class so you can consider this class as a blueprint suppose I want to construct a building okay so before construct a building I should have a blueprint of that construction okay so in that blueprint I will be having a detailed picture of how many columns will be there okay how many uh, floors will be there in that construction okay where will be the doors okay so that um, that blueprint gives me a complete detailed idea about that construction so exactly the same way this class works class gives us the complete information about that program what type of data is been used in that program and what functions and what is the type of that function uh, that we have used in that program everything we will come to know with the help of the class okay so this is everything about uh, class concept how this concept of class is useful for us so when we write the programs using the concept of classes it improves the readability okay so here you can see in a single place I can come to know where my data members and where my member functions okay and which data I have declared as a private and which data I have declared as a public so I can come to know what are my data and what are my functions okay so it improves the readability okay so in this video we discuss everything about class what is class okay and uh, what is the purpose of uh, class so in this video we discuss everything about class concept okay uh, so I hope you understood each and every point of this concept okay and uh, that's all for this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching